Pass on. With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm. The sky seems clear of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Oh. Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandlo. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro. If I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! <laughs> what expert hugging that is. You do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. No, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait, town, bro. Chandlo. Quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions! <laughs> Chandlo Funk Bun, I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy, I'll get them there. I want to push my limits. I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place, and I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? 
She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Bro, that's not... just... don't. Anyway, I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro! Go on, Charwi! Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't, that's fine too. We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he could show Charlie the ropes. What do you say? Alrighty, now just use Sprout to lead Charlie back to my barn. <laughs>
Charlie's a good boy. Yes, she is. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out, We love you, Papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. <laughs> 